I'm a dentist and I'd like to show you some of the myths of decay. It's broadly known that decay starts in the enamel. But here I want to show you step by step that it's not starting in the enamel. It's starting in the dentin. And then when there's so much dentin lost, there's no support anymore for the enamel. The enamel cracks and then you can see a cavity. So here you see a cavity and the enamel cracked. There's a little white zone and this is black, this is the cavity. And if you open this with a drill, you see a big hole here underneath the enamel. So it was not the enamel that was really affected. The acid leaked a bit through the enamel, but mostly the dentin was dissolved from inside out to bring the minerals to the nerve and I will show you the nerve here because it was quite a deep cavity. This is where the nerve is and this is dentin and this here is enamel. I had to make the hole a bit bigger otherwise I could not take away the affected dentin. I'll show you the next picture. So here you see the nerve and here you see the affected dentin. And in this, in this picture, you can see a little red zone. And it's red because we colored this cavity with a red solution that shows you the demineralized dentin. And on that surface of the nerve, there's a small, tiny, tiny layer of demineralized dentin. If I take it away, then the nerve starts bleeding. So all the minerals went into the nerve it's, the nerve is not only the nerve, it's many, many blood vessels and a nerve. But it's more blood vessels in the tooth that can either bring minerals to the surface or take minerals away from the surface. So here we clean the tooth completely and then finally the tooth is filled with a composite material. So this is about dentin, demineralized in order to feed the mitochondria. And I told you about the mitochondria. 